you want to take out a $295,000 mortgage or home loan. The interest rate on the loan is 5.2% and the loan is for 30 years. Your monthly payments are $1,619.88. The first question we want to answer is how much you will owe after making payments for five years. We will answer this question using the TI-84 TVM solver. Let's begin by determining the required information. Capital N is the total number of payment periods. So because the first question refers to making payments for five years and you are making monthly payments, Capital N is 5 times 12, or 60. I percent is the annual interest rate, which we know is 5.2%, and therefore I percent is 5.2. We do not convert the percent to a decimal. PV is the present value, or the beginning amount of the loan, which is 295,000. This amount is positive because you are receiving this amount of money. PMT stands for the monthly payment amount, which is $1,619.88. But because you are paying this amount, we enter a negative $1,619.88. We are solving for the future value after five years, and the number of payments per year and the number of compounds per year are both 12. Even though we're not told the interest charges 5.2% compounded monthly, if we make monthly payments, if not given, we also assume the number of compounds per year is 12. And we always leave the PMT option at the bottom set on end, not begin. And now we go to the calculator and enter the information and solve for the future value. From the home screen, we press apps, enter, enter. Capital N is 60, enter. I percent is 5.2, enter. PV, or present value, is 295,000. Enter. The payment amount is negative 1,619.88. Enter. We are solving for a future value, and notice how payments per year and compounds per year are already set on 12, and the payment is set on end. So now we can solve for the future value with the cursor on the future value row, we press alpha enter. Notice how the future value is negative because you still owe this amount. The future value is $271,653.83 to the nearest cent. So now we know after making payments for five years, you still owe $271,653.83. And, 83 cents. and now to determine how much you will still owe after making payments for 20 years, we need to change capital N to the number of months in 20 years, and then solve for the future value again. So we'll change capital N to 20 times 12, which is 240, and solve for the future value. So going back to the TVM solver, we go back up to capital N and change this to 240. We can also just enter 20 times 12 if we want. Once we press enter, it does calculate the product. And then we go back down to FV for future value. And to solve for future value, we press alpha enter. Again, notice how it's still negative because you still owe this amount. The future value is $151,324.40 to the nearest cent. So now we know you still owe $151,324.40 after making payments for 20 years. So notice how you still owe more than half the loan amount after 20 years, which is two-thirds of the length of the loan, which is 30 years. And then for the last question, we want to know how much you will still owe after making payments for 28 years. So now we change capital N to 28 times 12. the number of months in 28 years, and once again solve for the future value. So we go back up to capital N and enter 28 times 12. Enter, go back down to future value because everything else remains the same, and solve for a future value. We press alpha enter. After 28 years, 
you owe $36,845.85 to the nearest cent. So again, after making payments for 28 years, you still owe $36,845.85. I hope you found this helpful.